on the 790 are a little bit more challenging than the dirt. You really get the speed up on this bike. These wood sections, the back end just jumps too much. I have dialed in as much rebound as possible, but it's still going to hop this uh, this really, really steep section. So i got to run slow through these. Once I get past these, I get up on the edge. I can pick the pace up some. Singles are alright, this stuff here, just that repetitive stuff that gets me in trouble. Got a 450 and a 250 behind me. Up on the edges, trying to keep myself out of the, the deep stuff. Underneath that tree, there we go. I'm mostly first gear on all this, it's just not that high of speed today. So these dirt bikes all have dirt tires on them. One of the kind of big blocks today and the Metzler Carew, which is the factory tire on this bike. Well, I like the uh, the Kenda big block. It's a pretty decent performer for what it is. The Carew has a lot of side slip. But luckily this area here, I'm in Tahuya State Forest. Really speaking, this stuff is a lot of glacial till, a lot of rock. I get the water, but I'm not getting a lot of real mud. It's just wet. So side slip's less of a concern. But certainly trying to keep a pace to keep the dirt bike guys happy. bank up here, slide up on the bank, get high out of the gravel, stay to the right of the route, dodge the tree. These are two-way trails, so that's part of my limitation for speed. I'm always expecting somebody else to come haul on ass the other direction. And log, square up on that, Mission Creek Trail. Gotta take note of what trail I'm on. I get a little jump over the puddle, keeps my feet dry. Right the edges. Go just a tad slower and I'll keep up. What? Go a tad slower and I'll keep up. On the big bike, I kind of go up nice and high, generally speaking. The idea being is I have pretty limited traction running on these uh, you know, adventure tires as opposed to hardcore dirt tires. It allows me to get the bike pointed in a new direction. Also, I do a lot of rear brake sliding that when I'm out here. I'll come up and just kind of walk up. The idea is get my bike vertical as much as possible before I can really add any kind of power or momentum. 
Whereas the dirt bike, I can lay it in and drive the back around. This bike, if I do the same thing, the front end will end up pushing out from underneath it. Just gonna warm up again here. We've taken a long break. I figure, take some time, warm up. Warm up the bike, warm up me. Still pretty wet from that puddle I took a nose dive into. Went through the puddle and the bottom of it was pretty hard packed with a, a layer of silt. I came around, I picked up about two thirds of the way through. It felt solid, it was, it was shallow. And when I gassed it, I just pushed that front end right out from underneath it. But that's how you find your limits and this is the place to do it. The other lesson from this is you'll notice I'm not wearing adventure riding gear. Mm -mm. I'm wearing dirt gear. I've got elbow guards. Mm -hmm. I have a neck brace. I have articulated knee braces, mm. which by the way, I did hit my knee pretty hard and okay. real dirt bike boots. All right. So if you're gonna push your limits and ride like a dirt bike rider, you better be dressing like a dirt bike rider too. Now with that said, I don't want my engine to get cold. It's time to go ride. <laughs> I love it. Okay. We're gonna start to warm up a little bit. There we go. All right, let's go play a little. Hopefully Chris is behind me. He's got a little bit of footage on the, on the 450. this big bike I can take one jump at a time but if I have multiples it's just too hard to get up on top of them and stay on top and one of the problems with this bike talking about the KTM is if I want to have the ABS off and I do a trail stall, once we get the bike started back up again, and all of a sudden I have ABS and I don't want ABS. Whew. It's uh, wet and sandy through here. Front end's kind of pushing left and right quite a bit. With the weight of the bike, you know, I don't even think tires matter that much here. It's just, you're pushing 500 pounds behind that tire. Even if I had a good tire, a little bit more toxic to it here. I, I love the technical, you know, let's think through it. Let's not go fast. First of all, if I crash, I feel like going slow. 